I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm uh, in the process of rebuilding this uh, Holly 2 barrel 2280. And I left off where I was in the last video where I was going to clean this uh, uh, vacuum piston out. And um, <clears throat> which I did, I buffed it out. Uh, I sprayed some silk and spray lubricant in the hole here to help lube it up. And uh, first thing, you got this long spring that helps it out. Uh, we're going to put it in there. And uh, don't lose a spring, I'm not sure they're available. And see, we, it's nice and loose. Um, hold on to it so it doesn't take off on me. So we got this uh, special washer we're going to put on it over it here. And uh, these are sometimes... Okay, so the trick to getting this washer in is just get to find the right deep socket, uh, the, the right deep socket that fits just right in there. Now this happens to be a Craftsman uh, 3 8 and, uh, and then I just kind of uh, tapped it down in there and it's got to fit tight but this needs to be loose if you get it in there cockeyed this won't be and uh, actually I had a little trouble with it so I took it back out straightened it out and then I flipped it over uh, it got kind of concave so uh, that seemed to work pretty good so anyway there it is finally got it in okay so the next thing we're going to work on is accelerator pump this has a replaceable cup on it I've already sp sprayed some uh, silk and spray lubricant on it and since this is plastic and we do not want to break it, um, I took a box knife and, and, and split the uh, cup here so I don't have to wrestle it off and, and possibly break it. Um, so then we have uh, three different new cups here. And so what you got to do is match it up. And obviously that, that's not it. And, and Well, that's something else, excuse me. Um, but this one looks like it, it's, it's this one right here. And let's pop it right on there. There you go. We're good to go on that one. And uh, let's see. I can't remember if I tried putting these in first or not. One thing we got to have the spring in here. Your return spring first, and then your your accelerator pump will go right there. And it goes through this hole like this. And uh, let's see. Excuse me, that's wrong. I don't know what I'm thinking. This spring goes on first. Okay, so we are going to have to put it on the top first, or it's never going to go on. This spring goes here. Okay, and uh, like a so. And we have our little. Uh, Horseshoe. Uh, all right, where'd you go? Here you go. So we got to fish it down there and get it through the hole of the accelerator pump. You can see the hole in the top. Four hands. Okay. So push it up as far as we can in the hole. And uh, you got the long end, you got to shorten the long, you're going to long end down into the accelerator pump. And there it is. Okay, so that'll keep it hold, held in there like that. And it's going to go in this little slot here. And, uh, okay. Let's see if we can get that done. Okay. 
All right, so it's through the hole now. So you can see how you're gonna have the action here now. Okay, so I need to stick a, uh, let's see, was that a cotter pin? Let's see here. What will go in there? I think not a cotter pin. I think, I think maybe this thing is what we need to put in there. Oops, it all fell apart. <laughs> Things can be frustrating, that's for sure. All right, let's do it again. Long end down. All right, so I got it hooked on there finally. I'd use some choice words. Okay. Let's see what's next here. Uh, oh, let's put the uh, vent rubber on here. And uh, this just goes into the slot right here. If it goes the other way. Okay, there you go. Vents the float bowl when it needs to be vented. And this I uh, didn't have to take out. I cleaned it with it in there, but you can see this is how it goes. So if you did take yours out, you just got to get it back in the right way. It's got a little spring on it. Not a big deal. You should be able to do that. Okay, so we're all set. Accelerator pump is uh, working okay. Get some of the stuff out of the way. And uh, float bowl back over here. And get our gasket on. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to have to fish our uh, auxiliary pump in there. Put some silicon lubricant on it. And uh, I'm going to put it in first. Just to make sure I don't get it curled up. Yeah, I went in nice and easy. doesn't fit that tight in it to start anyway. And uh, I'm going to go straight down. I want to make sure our uh, vacuum piston is, is on top of that um, we can't see it we want to make sure this is going to hit on top and we don't bind it and get it on the side of it somehow so we want to kind of go straight down there we go that feels pretty good I can see where you could get that to one side of it and totally mess it up all right, so let's get some uh, couple of screws in here to hold it together. Okay.
So to support my videos, I'd appreciate it if you buy your uh, carburetor kit from me. I always appreciate your business. And, uh, and or, um, uh, it always helps to subscribe to my uh, YouTube videos. That uh, helps me get in the search engines uh, higher. Well, the more subscribers you have, the, the better the search is. All those little things. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Okay, and there you go. So we've got the float bowl on. So far so good. See this nut fell off and put it on here so I don't lose it. I always seem to lose those. Uh, we got this little uh, vent uh, lever, whatever it's called. Uh, you put your pin in there, and I think we did get a new one. Oh, got the new one in, what am I saying? Okay, so you put your pin in there, it just drops in this little slot right there. Okay, and it's going to, as you can see, this is what's going to open and close your uh, vent down there. All right, uh, we're going to do some measuring here, so uh, I'm going to uh, get my linkage ready here. And uh, so this one goes up like this. I don't remember exactly how it did go. Um, Alright, I'm going to get everything cleaned off here and then I'll come back.